friends, welcome, welcome back to M.E. My Hook and I Whip Caddy Edition. And yes, this is the first one I have ever done. <laughs> um, these seem to be a popular thing on YouTube, and I did not actually pack the Whip Caddy. Those of you who are not new to my channel know that I have multiple chronic illnesses, and behind this camera on this, uh, beyond this little corner of yarn is a bedside table for me that's basically a big caddy but it has everything that I could possibly need to survive for the day drinks snacks remotes tablets electronics um and usually my crochet project for the day um however I wanted something to put my whips in because there's also been a lot of whips videos floating around and I thought to myself, you know, I used to be really bad about that when I was a sewer. I don't sew anymore near as much because it's just too taxing on the body. Because I, I was a quilter and I did alterations and that involved a lot of ironing and getting up and down. And it just, it's a lot harder than crochet physically. So, um... I thought I've been really good about finishing my projects with crochet and not having whips. So I bet I really just don't have near as many as these people do. Look at me judging. <laughs> so for lots of reasons, um, not the least of which is that by June, I am usually starting my Christmas, June and July ish. I'm usually starting my Christmas makes because I, last year I did 100% handmade Christmas with the exception of a few things for my daughter and my husband. Um, and it took that long because I never know when I'm gonna be knocked out and not crochet for a couple weeks. So I start fairly early trying to get Christmas done. And I thought, well, I bet I can finish all my whips before Christmas season starts. So maybe that'll be my goal. Like no new projects until, unless, until it's Christmas season. I don't, I think that's gonna be a lofty goal. <laughs> okay, so that's gonna be an awkward edit because I don't really remember what I was talking about. Uh, anyway, so I decided I needed this. So I decided I needed this whip caddy. I'm going to try to finish them before Christmas. So let me show you what's on my whip caddy. All right, I'm inserting some footage here of the whole thing. So um, the only whips that are not on this cart right now are Dolly Parton, which is still in her own box because I'm still scared of her hair and her face, but yes, I plan to finish it. Um, and there is currently a Ray Amigurumi that I am trying to finish before Easter, and it's actually sitting already in my bedside table that I was telling you about. I can only work on that when I know Sarah is dead asleep, and, so, and we've been having storms, so I haven't even been able to pull it out at night lately, so hopefully I will finish that by Easter. Um, the rest of these are whips that I hope to finish for Christmas and the top part clearly you saw is purely functional so I used my, I put my little cup that I got in my latest crochet society box with my miscellaneous hooks. Usually if I have it in a furls I'm going to use it in a furls but occasionally I don't have a certain size and I've had to emergency buy hooks and that's what this cup is. And then these are my amigurumi eyes for all the various amigurumis that I make. Had to have, I wanted to have a nice good place to keep those. Um, when I originally showed you my caboodle, which is my cute crochet toolbox, I had put my furls hook case in the bottom. But I have since found out that that makes it a little too heavy and it's often sliding off my bed because I keep this on my bed when I'm crocheting because it has all my stitch markers, all my scissors. So I've decided to just keep the one hook in there that I am using currently or maybe two if I'm working on two different whips. And then 
um, my stitch markers, my hemostats for stuffing, my tape measure, um, my bobby pins for pinning amigurumi pieces together, all of that are in the caboodle. So usually that com that will come out of the cart and sit on my bed for most of the day because everything I could possibly want is in there. And then one day, like a long time back when COVID was not as big of an issue, we went to Tuesday morning and I got one of these um, adjustable hook case things to see if they were an alternative to furls. And honestly, I haven't even tried them yet. So those are on the, those are on the cart. Maybe one day they'll stay in a whip bag. So let's talk about my whips. So this one is a fairly recent one that I thought I was going to make before I found the ray pattern. This is going to be Anne of Green Gables. <laughs> you can see the colors in there. So that's whip number one. These are not necessarily in an order. They're how they fit on the cart. Um, and then way back when I did my Meet the Maker series with Becky from Pan Friend Knit Co., my friend Becky, I started this beautiful lemon peel scarf with her Rainbow Land yarn because I only had the one cake of her Rainbow Land. But honestly, I may end up just ripping this out because... Don't think it's the right project for the yarn. At the time, it was just what I saw that I could make out of. I'm gonna see if I can turn my lighting up because I'm still yellow. Nah, that's all I can get. All right. Anyway. I think I'm gonna rip, rip this one out and it won't be a whip and I'm gonna find something that better serves this yarn. Maybe a pair of socks on my new sock loom. We'll see. It's definitely the right kind of yarn for it at a fingering weight. And then I think I've shown this not too far back. This is a whip that I started for when I'm too brain dead to count amigurumi or work on something like a sweater that I have to count. So this is just a linen stitch and it's made out of Premier yarn and it will eventually be a big shawl. So I think I'm just going to keep this in my whip caddy. This is not going to be a you must finish this kind of thing. I think this is going to continue to be my um my stupid crochet as they say and who knows it may end up being a christmas present anyway i wasn't i was making it thinking i might keep it but i i mean i'm not like i have more of that yarn so i could do something else with that yarn if i wanted to so that might actually turn out to be a christmas present in which case that works in my favor so that's the first thing uh, that's the second shelf the next thing on the bottom shelf, this is Gravity the Triceratops. So let me show you the pattern for this. I started this back when I very picked crochet back up, very first, that's what I'm trying to say. Picked crochet back up um, almost two years ago now, maybe a year and a half. And I picked up by doing Amigurumi for some reason, Amigurumi made more sense to me than the just general crochet scarf projects and hat projects that my grandmother was trying to teach me back when she taught me how to crochet. Something about crocheting in the round for some reason just totally made sense to me. So, I thought, oh, he's adorable. Yeah, he's deceptive. He has a lot of shaping. <laughs> and there was a lot of chain chain let me see if I can pull this body part out on his body and I was newly getting back into crochet and I was experimenting with my grip because um, I learned originally to be a pencil gripper and I heard so much about furls crochets and Furl's crochet hooks, and when I got Furl's crochet hooks and tried to hold them pencil grip, I didn't like them. 
but I also start started to see how much more how much less movement you do as a knife crocheter and I thought I'm going to teach myself to crochet via knife method because I think that that's going to be less energy draining but I had to like relearn all my tensioning and everything so I struggled so hard with these multiple rows of chaining they were super 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 duper tight and it creates this cute tail piece and a cute hump to his back but it just felt beyond me so I put him down for a little bit and I just never picked him back up again <laughs> so it's time for him to be done so he, I've already got two legs and all of his foot pads. So really I have every, a lot of the bigger pieces except for his head done. He's still going to be a pretty long process to compete, complete. But also, why am I starting all these other tiny crochet projects when I need to get him done? Oops, I left a foot. So see, there was also a fair amount of shaping that I was completely new to. It was the most, um, I don't know, complicated shaping that I'd ever done in pieces too. Because I, I didn't know anything about putting things like toes on um, and adding. And I had I had rarely done any front back loop crocheting. So I, I was just a total newbie. <laughs> And it was just, in true Betsy fashion, let's pick one of the most complicated things we can do. And I was going to do it with, Beth, with Becky from Pan Friend at Co, but I think she got busy with some of her other projects and I was having to ask her 10 million questions. It was just, it was time to put it away. <laughs> so, and what else do I have down here? Okay, last but not least, this is a velvet cardigan out of some velvet ice yarn that you may have seen on my ice yarns haul a long time ago. I love this velvet yarn. I stopped working on the cardigan. Let me see if I can show you the picture. I also put all the patterns in my whip card with my. Um, so this is the velvet party for kids but also there's an, an adult size actually this is not the adult pattern I made one of these already for my daughter I got into it for myself and started having a hard time counting the rows as I was getting to the decreases of the curves of the bottom of the cardigan and stopped on it and then forgot about it <laughs> as one does and just never finished it so that's not bad. That's how many whips we've got. I just said Dolly and Ray weren't accounted for. And then we have Becky's that I was going to rip out. Gravity, the Triceratops, the shawl, Anne of Green Gables. Okay, so that's six. I don't feel quite so bad. Some of y'all, I'm not judging. Because I totally did that with sewing. I just tried not to do that with crochet. <laughs> I call that successful. Anyway, um, that's my whip caddy. So we'll start doing some updates on is Betsy keeping true to her word and working on her whips soon enough. So make me feel better <laughs> about myself because that's what this channel is about. If you haven't figured it out already, just kidding. Make me feel better. Tell me how many whips do you think you have? Give me an estimate. Do you think I'm doing pretty good with just six? Is that is that okay? I think, maybe? I don't know. Make me feel better. Put your number of whips in the comments below. I would love to know. And let me know, do you have goals for finishing them? Or are you going to keep picking up new projects like me? No, it's a judgment-free zone. So feel free to leave all your truths in the comments. I will delete your nasty comments. All right. Nice to see you guys again. I will check you later soon and have a great day.